Good morning, good morning, Bibles, bullies, and bogeys. Welcome back to the channel. I haven't done an update on dogs in a while, so uh, here we go. I got a little Miss Play-Doh is uh, coming in heat, and Corgi girl Ellie is in heat. She's inside. So boys are starting to pay attention to her. She's too young. Loso, knock it off, dude. She's too young. Uh, you should not be breeding your dogs, girls, females, unless they're a year and a half to two years old, okay? That's ABKC standard code of ethics. Pretty simple. For males, it's one year. However, it's always better if you wait longer. And the reason for that, guys, is a lot of genetic problems don't show up until dogs are a little older. Like some things you can't even test for until they're two. So... I have not sold anyone. I still have everyone. I've had a lot of people asking. I just don't really know what I want to do with these guys. You have to understand I have all these, you know, for a purpose. I Every dog that I kept, I had a plan when I kept them. Um, the, only, the only female that's old enough to even breed right now is Ripley. And I skipped her last heat because it's just not, it hasn't been a good time um, outside of the dogs, if that makes any sense, okay? So, not sure that I'm going to stay in Alabama. Don't really know where I'm going. Uh, Summer has her home for sale, so whenever that sells, I guess I'll be moving somewhere else. Um, I am at the point currently where if there's someone that would really like to step in and be essentially, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say a kennel partner, but I may need somewhere to place all my dogs until I find a place to be permanently. Um, I don't know if I want to stay in Alabama. I have my other children here, however, I hardly ever see them. So there's not much point sticking around if I don't even get to see them. Dude, you're not going to see anybody if you don't stop. Now I'm telling you to quit, boy. Quit. Thank you. Uh, pretty much everybody's doing good. Like, we haven't had any problems. Thankfully, everybody's been getting along. About to have to separate boys and girls, though, so that I don't end up having boys fight over this junk right here. Come here. Look. Sit down. Look, old man. They all see you. And you need to stop. It's not happening. She's too young. And she's your daughter, dude. It is not happening. So knock it off, man. I don't do inbreedings or line breedings unless it's really a positive thing. Um, I've had a lot of people ask about that, and the reality is there's a lot of really good bloodlines out there, guys. So if you do an inbreeding or a line breeding, they should both be phenomenal dogs. Um, you know, I'm not saying that I couldn't do it. I just am saying that I don't know that I would. Um, so in my pack, Buster is able to breed as long as he's able to breed. I may have to check him again. But as long as he's potent and good to go, he can breed with any female here other than Lightning. Because Lightning is his full-blooded sister, but she's two years younger. So he could breed with any of the females here and there not be a problem. Uh, Loso is daddy to all the other girls, so he will not be breeding to them. Um, I could do more of a line breeding where, you know, I used Van... Or Doughboy and because they have their daddies both Loso um, and then all the girls have different moms so those are possibilities those are things that you can do um, with dogs honestly guys if you've ever read the Bible <laughs> here let's teach some Bible the Bible was the same way honestly royalty is the same way you, under, you guys understand that royalty used to breed specific blood or specific families to keep their their line pure. I mean, you know, people talk crap. I live in Alabama, and I've lived all over. 
and people talk crap all the time about stuff like that. But it's been that way since the beginning of time. So what are you fools making fun of? I'm not saying go go breed your daughter. Like, get a life. But it's been happening since the beginning of time, people. So y'all have jokes or whatever, but every one of you, you're all related to everyone, one way or the other. It's just a matter of how far away in relation you are. So if everybody would stop talking crap actually think about what the reality truth is if you believe in the bible you believe we came from adam and eve well uh how did cain or abel or seth or anyone how did they get their wife who was their wife if there were no other people riddle me that will you <laughs> we're a long way from that and that's why i said there's a lot of good bloodlines out there inbreeding line breeding something you should be careful with it's not just something you should take lightly um, here's why if you have problems in the dog you're going to essentially double that problem um, but if there's good things about the dogs well you're also locking in that so while it could be a good thing it could potentially be a horrible thing as well so you do want to be responsible with your breeding. Um, yeah, just be responsible, guys. If you're in the ABKC, I highly recommend you check out their website. Read the Code of Ethics. Um, or if, if any other registry that you're in, if you guys are breeding AKC dogs or UKC or whoever, check out their codes, check out their, their ethics and so on. That's what those are for. There's a standard for a reason, and that's so that everybody pretty much sticks to the same standard. And by doing so, that's where we get, uh, I don't want to say oneness, but that's where the dogs all start to favor each other. Because, you know, if you look at any dog breed out there that's been around for a long time, all the dogs look the same. If you look at Dobermans, you can tell it's a Doberman. Loso! Knock it off. Go somewhere. Have a male that's amped up wanting to breed all the time. And you, this is what you got to deal with. Asshole, knock it off, man. You're about to go up, dude. You're not coming out with girls no more. That's it. All right, I'm going to cut this video short because as you see, I got to constantly watch him like constant there's no turning my back or he'll be locked up with somebody and that is not happening right now uh, we decided not to breed ellie again because we have house showings and different stuff going on and i'm not gonna um i'm just not gonna raise puppies right now all my girls play-doh solo uh fly and lightning they're all coming up on a year so they've got another six months or so at least so you know later uh, it'll be next year before i have puppies unless i do decide to breed ripley this year um that that is a possibility maybe it just i'm gonna have to be in a good position to do so because it is a big responsibility believe me after the last three litters i had um, uh, well, it wore me out, guys. I love them, but it wore me out. It's an everyday job, and it is something that you guys, please don't take lightly. If you're going to be a dog breeder, you must be prepared to take care of these guys every day of your life. They depend on you, okay? They're not like a cat where you can leave food and water and leave for days, you know? They're just not that way. So, they take everyday care, um... And honestly, I need to even be doing a better job than I am. Every one of these guys needs a bath right now. Uh, I got to clean kennels. And, you know, just another day. So, keep that in mind if it is something you're looking to get into. Um, if you're interested, and you'd have to be around my area, but if you're interested in being a part of a program, Email me, delraylydesigns at gmail.com, and, um, you know, 
we can discuss different options, okay? Um, I have absolutely everything we need already. I wish I had a bigger building, you know, with bigger areas for each dog. But in the space and the property I'm at, that's not possible. Or it, it is, but I would have to build a building back here um, just for those guys, which I drew on out. I called it the Ark. Um, you know, just because I like the Bible. That's the only reason. I like the Bible. God, you know, God had no building Ark. Um, I designed up an ark, and it was a building for the dogs. Uh, maybe I'll get a chance to build that. I hope so. Um, or if someone is looking to get involved, um, then let me know, okay? Uh, these dogs are not cheap. I don't just give them away. Um, I'm not as high as many out there. Guys, there are, there are stud owners out there that charge $5,000 per stud fee, okay? Um, now my dogs, any of these guys, if you're buying them, they're probably going to be 5k and up. They're all my keepers. Uh, Loso is a champion and a, a well-proven producer. Uh, and Buster is a champion. He is an unproven producer currently. I did have him checked at the vet, uh, about a year ago and they said his semen was good to go. However, if I'm going to start breeding them, I would have them checked again and make sure everything's good to go. I still have time for that, so it's not a concern. Uh, Buster's three, Loso's five, Ripley's going to be three, I think, September. I think. Or maybe, yeah, I believe so. Maybe four. Girls, she's, she's awesome. And uh, I don't know, you know. I just, I don't know. Because it's always a big decision. It's like, in a way, it's like having babies, you know. You, if you want to have children, you're making a commitment to that child. Um, you know, I, believe me, there's been plenty of days I just wanted to leave. But I don't, because I have children I need to take care of. I have animals I need to take care of. And I try to be a good man and a responsible father. So... A lot of times, guys, ladies, we have to sacrifice ourselves in order to make things work. Um, you know, Jesus sacrificed himself for everyone. So there's times we're going to have to do the same, whether that be in the choices you make or it could possibly even be in your actual life. We don't even know that, right? But... There's many things that can, uh, well, it's a big wide world web. <laughs> world wide web, right? It's just a big web, guys. Welcome to Earth. Hope you have a great day. That's enough from me. Hope you enjoy the short video. I will do my best to put something of value together, maybe. But there's just not really a lot going on. Um, these guys, every day we hang out. It's been hot as can be in old Alabama. So I, I was up early this morning. We were up. I was up about six. Had dogs out. You see, they're already getting hot. Loso? That's his own fault. He's gonna get a spanking soon. I'm gonna whoop your ass, dude. You better quit, man. I'll set the camera down so they can see. Let you. They can watch me whoop your ass. Like, I've had enough. You're not listening. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Come on, pups. Come on. Welcome to having a pack. There's always challenges if you have more than one animal. <coughs> Mine all get along good. They listen good. But... They're still, you know, a pack of dogs. So, come on, guys. All right, open the floodgates. And with that, have a good day.